What's up everyone, Jared Meekum here with another one of the greatest videos on the entire internet and that may not be because I'm in it, it's mostly because I've got my buddy Zach here from Jerry Rig Everything. We've talked and we've discussed a few things, there are two new drones that have come out this year, the Mavic Pro and the GoPro Karma. And we talked and we were decided we should do some videos on these things and what we decided, Zach is gonna get the Mavic Pro, I'm gonna get the Karma. We're gonna do unboxing videos on my channel and we're gonna do a detailed camera analysis on his channel. Tell about your channel for a second. So on my channel, I do a lot with technology, not from like the software perspective, but more of a hardware thing. I review technology from the inside. So I do durability tests and camera comparisons and I'm super stoked to see these two drones, the GoPro drone and the DJI drone, side by side. So with that being said, we are going to unbox the DJI Mavic Pro first. I'm super excited about this one because when the, when the drones came out, the GoPro was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. This isn't just a drone, it's like an entire camera system. And then the Mavic Pro came out and we're like, oh my gosh, this thing is so tiny, so I'm anxious to get it in my hands and feel what it actually looks like and feels like in our hands. Have you ever seen one of these in real life? Not in real life. Do you want to do the honors? Yeah, let's do, I'll do that. Okay, right there. You got your knife? Pull out the handy dandy knife. Cut away from Jerry here. <laughs> I'm like, don't cut me, please. And it looks like we just open it up from the side. Oh, oh my that. gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. Very cool packaging. You see everything just right up front. The drone, I mean, if I may, just yeah, pull yeah. it out. Look how small those motors are compared yeah. to the Phantom 4. And we've got the Phantom 4 here for comparison to show the size, but like, I mean, what? this is like smaller than a football, like a kid's football. That's impressive. Very cool. We'll set this aside just for a minute. What else do we have in the box here? We have the controller, mm -hmm. which I'm stoked about. So it's got a little bit of padding there. It's got the rear buttons, the record button, and the just camera button, it looks like. Yeah, got your antenna here, looks like, antennae. Little, little snap in there. Cool. And you've got on here, it looks like you've got a little monitor so you have different readings. Now, is it true that you don't need your phone to fly this one because yeah. of this, is that correct? Does it have an extra screen that comes with it? Is there something There's else? There's not a screen, I don't think. Um, we've just got, let's see, we've got charging cables in here. A uh, little USB cable, and then your power adapter right there. So here is where your phone would plug in. Okay, perfect. And it looks like they've got a lightning port on this side. Mm -hmm. And then anything on that side? No, nothing on that side. So this is built for an iPhone. That's interesting that they have like a proprietary... Oh, no, 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 check this out. So this looks like this will pop out. And then we have this. Ah, oh, look at that. So I wonder if you can switch it. Oh, look yep. at that. Okay, so you've got micro USB and your lightning cable built in, so you can use that on all of that. Now, what if your phone is USB-C, like the uh, next, Ooh. the 6P, is it USB-C? Um, so the new Pixel phone The definitely. Pixel yeah, is, yeah. is USB-C. But your phone goes right in here, and you've got all your controls right there. Just like that. So small, like so small. If, you, if you've if you used a drone, a DJI Phantom, like the controller itself is huge. It's as big as the drone itself, I would say. Yeah. We'll, we'll show you some size comparisons here in just a minute. Look how little these propellers are. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. Oh, because they're, they're double folded, okay. Oh, flip out. Yeah. Here are your propellers. Cool. Looks like you get a, a set of Oh, here's your adapter, okay. Here's your adapter oh, okay. for micro yeah. USB. Okay, I was worried there for a second. I'm not gonna use an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> In the box, you've got your sets of propellers, cool. USB-C, micro USB, and lightning cables. Um, you've got your power adapter. Okay, let's put it together. Okay. We literally just threw away the manual. So <laughs> I'm guessing we just fold these out. We'll see how intuitive this is Yeah. for two people who have never touched it before. The thing is, oh look, you do have replacements because oh, you've got cool. these ones on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, they're pre-installed. Okay, so you do have a replacement set. Fold up, fold up, and there's your drone right there. Just like the Phantom 4, these uh, are push and turn and that's it. Now these can, uh, you know, once the propellers are going, this doesn't matter, these fold, but that's a huge part of why the Mavic Pro can get as small as it does, is uh, the foldable propellers. The centrifugal force will bring the props out while yeah. it's going. So in its 
full glory, here is the DJI Mavic Pro. Like, and I just, I like, even with the propellers out, this thing is tiny, it is very small. I think this is how you detach the battery. Mm -hmm. So that's the battery pack for it. It's, it's huge compared to the, the actual size of it. And uh, just going over the, the Mavic Pro itself, we've got the camera out front. It's got this camera shield on the front of it that can mm -hmm. just unsnap. I assume that's to protect it like if you have it in a backpack or something. Right. One of my biggest gripes with the Phantom 4 is the um, safety mechanism for the camera system. I always have a hard time getting it in the exact right place, so something like this I think is really nice. And then you've got that slide on and off. It's got this one little plastic protector in the back here, but even I'm not looking at it right now, I can't see it and it's still sliding in pretty easily. So it looks like that's yeah. relatively simple to stabilize this while it's in a backpack. Compared to the other one, it's darn near simple. The thing that I like about the Mavic Pro so far and then what I've seen from the Karma is that the camera is placed out more in front. I think one of the biggest things when you're filming is seeing propellers in the actual shot. And um, the, I think having the camera more forward is, is helping from that rather than having it down below in the middle of the drone itself. I would always get like the legs of the DJI Phantom uh -huh. 4 in the shots. So, like if I would turn, the camera would pick up one of the legs and ruin the shot. Got it. So I'm hoping this doesn't have any problems with that. Well, in addition to just the drone, I got something called the Fly More Combo, also sold by DJI. So we're gonna see what comes inside of this box. Still have the knife out. It looks like we have some extra batteries in here. Oh, that charging hub. Oh man. That's tight. That is sweet. So we've got a charging hub and it looks like we got two more batteries. So we have a total of three batteries with this DJI. Okay, awesome. That is a lot of flight time. Now, you know you were talking about putting that in your your car. Yeah, where the, it fits in the cup holder. Yep, you've got a car charger as oh, well. Nice. That's so cool. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to charge my drone as I've been driving and I've had to bring my power adapter for the car. Solves the problem right there. And check this out. This is what the spare propellers look like. This little tiny wow, box. That's crazy. That looks like an iPhone cable box. Oh, for real, that's so small. Yeah. So yeah. And then a battery to power bank adapter. Interesting. Yeah. So if you get the fly more combo, you get two extra batteries, two extra propellers, a car charger, and whatever this thing is. If you guys have flown before in the past, you get about, what, 20 to 25 minutes of flight time, depending mm -hmm. on the brand that you use or the type of uh, Phantom that you guys have. Having more batteries is definitely recommended, so I think this is a excellent idea. Everything that you see here in front of us, including the DJI Mavic and this extra kit, is gonna be linked in the video description below. So check it out if you're interested in the pricing or if you wanna get one for yourself. Now, I have no idea what's in this box. Everything else had something that kind of alluded to it, but... This one does say void if damaged. So let's get your sharp knife and open it up. <laughs> let's damage this. <laughs> All right, it's officially damaged. We voided something. Oh, look at it. Oh, okay, awesome. It's a man purse. This, this just blows my mind. Like, coming from the Phantom 4, like, I thought their, their packaging was tiny compared to what, what we've had in the past. But this is like insane. So it looks like the whole drone can fit inside of this thing. Let me see if there's a zipper. I mean, this is like a small camera bag. Like most DSLRs wouldn't fit in here. So we got a strap, I assume that's for the bag. All right, see if it fits in there. Right there. DJI, you are blowing my mind right now. And we got room for SD cards, and then I assume a couple batteries can fit down in here Probably as well. a few of them. So you have the battery, you could probably fit like an extra propeller or something up top here. Oh, we got an extra bag right here in the front too, an extra pouch. Okay, I've gotta show you something real quick. This is gonna blow your mind, basically how far they've come in terms of compactness in just even the carrying cases. I'll be right back. Okay. Watch your head, here we go. Oh, All right. right. Okay, are we clear? This is what I used to carry my drone in. This giant box was like a padded thing to carry my drone in so it didn't break, didn't get damaged or anything when traveling or just regular storage. Like this is huge and it fit like, I don't know, four, four batteries and all my cables and then the drone itself. This giant, like 
thing, it's crazy. And then, when the Phantom 4 came out, it came in this small, tiny, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I went from this to this, this is tiny. And now look at it, like what the heck? This, you could fit four of these inside of here. It's incredible. That's amazing. I would much rather travel with this than with anything you have right now. This could fit in my wife's purse. <laughs> like that's crazy, like it's insane. It's amazing, good job DJI. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm so excited to compare the size, the speed, the camera to the Karma when I get that. I gotta get my hands on that. Now I have a few items that I wanna compare the size of the Mavic Pro to, just so you guys get like a visual representation of something that you might be familiar with. This is the Mavic Pro and then right here is the DJI Phantom 4. Now this doesn't have propellers on it, but if you look at the total space without propellers, like look at the size difference of height itself and then total, total space. Like it's insane how small this thing is. It's incredible. Plus when you fold this up and it's smaller, it's like literally the size of just this the, the core main, body. Yeah, the main part of it. That's crazy. I mean folding is just snaps right in. Like that's crazy. That's very simple. Like this is the whole drone all by itself. Like look at that. That is insane how small this gets. I think they literally put it in his pocket when they were presenting it on stage. And that's cool. You guys know I like Dr. Pepper, but I wanna show you the size comparison. This is a can of Dr. Pepper. This is the Mavic Pro. So if you can carry a can of Dr. Pepper on a hike, <laughs> yeah. you can carry the Mavic Pro on a <laughs> You can take your Mavic Pro. Like, look at that. Isn't that insane? This would probably fit in your car's cup holder. That's a good car. idea, yeah. Like, look. Look at the size difference. So now that we've seen the different size comparisons, which one do you think is faster? Oh man, I mean, just going off like the propeller size and everything, I know this has a sport mode built into it that goes like 45 miles per hour. I don't, does this have the sport mode on it? I think so, I think it does. Okay, I wanna say this one is faster, but that's something that we're gonna test on your channel, right? Okay. Okay, I think we should definitely let's, test that. Let's bet some, I bet you a 12 pack of Dr. Pepper and you have to give me a 12 pack of Mountain Dew. Okay. If my drone beats your drone in a race. You are on, sir. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Head on over to his channel and we'll have a speed race, see which one is faster, the Phantom 4 or the Mavic Pro. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out Zach's channel on Jerry Rig Everything for all of the cool analysis and speed testing that we're gonna do. So check out his channel. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. See ya.